My name is Daniel Chadwick and my company is called Chadwick. Well, it's me really as, as an artist principally. Well, it began as me as an artist, but now I have branched out into back, back into engineering. So I handle the, the kind of interesting boundary between art and science. It is a very nice place to, to exist. I did almost everything I could to, to not become an artist, in fact, because my father, I came from an artistic background. My father was a sculptor, and uh, he always impressed on us how, how difficult it was to be an artist and how lucky he was to have success in, in that field. So, so we were all warned against the art world. I position my works above my father's works as a kind of little little homage to him in a way. He was a very good man. And it's like you've got his heavy pieces there, although the lighting structure, heavy pieces, and then mine above moving, like thoughts. A mobile has to be light, and it has to be as fine as it can. It, it can't be heavy. Well, it can be heavy if you want to make a heavy, very heavy looking mobile, but if it's about movement, everything's always to do with being light. So I um, use a little little um, motor gearbox unit from Maxon that um, to begin with I used to just have a simple, like a reciprocating mechanism, a, a, an a, a crank, so with a, a wheel with a crank on it which would go round and it, it would make something go backwards and forwards, twist backwards and forwards, because a change in momentum is vital for an interesting movement. Round and round is no good, boring. So you change momentum and you find in a mobile you get not just the obvious balance, but you get a rotational balance as a, as a rod moves round and then stops. The objects on the end will continue to rotate. But I use the Maxon motor. Just It's just a vital, I mean it's an essential it's the motivation. I've been working with Maxon for over 15 years. There are various motors around. Um, I think the Maxon ones are a little bit quieter for me, and they look nice. And I think more importantly than anything, that the representative from Maxon was very nice. See, so that for me um, meant an awful lot because it was a real struggle to buy them elsewhere. People always think I'm quite good at solving problems so they ask me things and we'd been we'd had a fantastic pizza in an Italian restaurant with a, in a wood oven, wood fired oven and my friend said why can't you know we do that at home why is it impossible to have a fantastic pizza at home why can't we make a little one and, and do it and it just kind of got me thinking and I had to solve the problem and it was very nice to to go to go into the world of engineering properly, instead of just in theory, like at, at university, um, which put me off to begin with. It was <clears throat> amazing to meet these people and start to work with people as a team. As an artist, you're always on your own. And what really struck me was the intelligence of all these people that solving these problems in the most modest way these, these guys in Birmingham and the tool makers and the people who actually design the machines that make the machines, that make the tools, that well, from every, all the right across the board in engineering, for the people who make the motors, it's just beautiful work and it's, it is art, 